Hey there, writers and muse daters. I'm super excited to be speaking with you today. Uh, we have got something very special to be celebrating, and uh, that is Writing Gym member, Writing Gym rat, as we say lovingly over in the Writing Gym, Hannah Johnson. Thanks for being here with me today, Hannah, and being willing to celebrate. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. That's awesome. So uh, sometime in the past, you and I got on a call and we had a chat about where your writing life was and kind of what you had been doing up until that point. Uh, fill in the people over and write to publish. What was life like for you? You know, why did you want to write a book? What had you tried before? Um, well, it first started like in junior high. My teacher told me that she really liked my writing um, and that I should consider going further with it. Um, but once I reached high school, I kind of forgot about it a little bit. Um, when, when I came to college, I took some writing courses and discovered I was spending the most time with those rather than my other courses mm -hmm. and was enjoying writing then. Um, and then I was just kind of writing for myself off and on, um, not really doing stuff. I wrote a few short stories, um, but those, um, never really went anywhere. Um, so yeah, then eventually I called, uh, got your book, uh, Storytelling for Fancers. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I got your name and decided to contact you. That's great. And so if I remember correctly, up until that point, you had written some short stories and you had tried to write books, but you'd never been successful in getting that full novel moving forward. Right. Yeah. I never got to like, um, never did like any editing or any of that kind of thing. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, we got to that point with you. So I was super excited about that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. So after we had our conversation, you enrolled, I invited you and you enrolled in our VIP program where people typically finish a novel in eight weeks, but you had a, a slightly different result. Tell, <laughs> tell the viewers what happened for you in the VIP. Yeah, I actually finished mine in six and a half, seven-ish weeks, and which was a huge accomplishment for me because Going into it, I thought I didn't even think I'd be able to do it in eight weeks, but I managed to. So, yeah. Yeah. And let's not downplay that because that wasn't your typical uh, 80,000 word fiction manuscript. You had much higher ambitions. Tell us what you wrote in six and a half weeks. Um, I wrote, it was, I think when I finished it, it was around 95,000 words. And it was a fantasy novel. And those are usually pretty big. And now in the editing process, it's getting even bigger. So. Right. So, I mean, you were writing fantasy, which, you know, for anybody out there who's ever picked up uh, any fantasy book, Game of Thrones, whatever, you know, these are thick, thick novels. They're usually 120,000 words. So, you know, uh, half again, as long as your normal fiction, uh, you know, any novel. So this is a huge accomplishment, not in eight weeks, but six and a half. How did that feel? Like if you, and I know this was a while ago, but if you think about like day one in the writing gym, you know, versus that day where you're like, holy moly, uh, six and a half weeks and I'm done. How did that feel? Um, I'm not really sure. Like, I guess it was a, a relief because I had actually finished something I was proud of. And once I got to that point, I wasn't really sure what to do next because I'd never really edited anything before. So it's just like, and that's what you do in the publishing mastermind. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh, maybe I should look into this a little bit more. And our novel, or my novel has gone, gotten a lot further along than any of my other stuff that I've ever worked on. So this is amazing. I mean, we're, we're celebrating so much about you, Hannah, but you know, one, you finished this book in six and a half weeks. Two, it was the very first time that you ever completed a project, you know, to say nothing of how quickly you were able to do it or how thoroughly you were able to do it. Um, but also really looking at uh, how you've grown as a writer over that time. I mean, there's so much to celebrate here and um, you know you mentioned the publishing mastermind let's also celebrate the fact that you took the project and yourself as a writer seriously enough to then move it into revising it toward publishable so for the people who have no idea what we're talking about like what is this writing gym thing that you're talking about what is publishing mastermind so we already said vip you finish your book in eight weeks you finished in six and a half then then what happens what's this publishing mastermind thing 
Um, well, you give your what the book that you finished, um, you give it to Annalisa and she reads it. Um, and during the time she's reading it, you're in a reading period. So you're reading a lot of books in the genre that you want to get published in. And these are like recent books, like within the last uh, one or two years. Um, and then when she's finished reading it, you go through your manuscript and start editing it. And she starts to give you advice about how you can make it better. And then um, once you're done with that, then you go into a publishing boot camp, which I'm not there yet, but um, that's where she starts tell, helping you uh, learn how to write queries and stuff, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. Right, right. And so let's back up because I think when people hear the word editor, they think, okay, like there's this person with a red pen who's like, <laughs> no, don't use that word. Uh, give us the real scoop, pull back the curtain. You can snitch on me. What does it really look like? What do we do when we work together? Um, well, she, it's mostly like she gives you suggestions about how, how you can make it better, but it's really up to you what, what you want to change. Um, and then, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> And, you know, how does that feel as an experience? I mean, you had teachers in school. I had teachers in school. We've all had teachers in school, um, some of them better than others, right? But we've all yeah. had some kind of experience where we're like, oh, goodness, you know. Um, how does it feel for you to, to do that work with me? You know, what's your experience as the, the writer making those changes? Um, well, it's kind of liberating, too, because um, I did minor in short story fiction writing in college, but they didn't want you to write anything fantasy like. So it's kind of nice to have um, a conversation with someone about something that I actually uh, want to write. Um, and yeah, the guidance is really helpful, too, because like Renee, um, like I said, I'd never done like edit editing before. And so I didn't really have any idea of how to start or where to go from there. And having the guidance was really useful. That's great. And one of the things about the writing gym that I talk about a lot is how, you know, we're obviously interested in this book for you, but we're more interested in your writing career for you. And we're really most interested in how you can find your best writer, learn how to be that writer, get the skills that you need so that you can live your author lifestyle. Um, you know, I bet people hear that and they think, well, what the heck does that mean? What has that meant for you, Hannah? Um, well, I guess it, it, I've gotten even more of a experience about the author lifestyle since this coronavirus came <laughs> out and um, the gym I work at is currently closed down. So I've gotten a lot more time to work on the writing and that's been a really uh, great thing for me. Um, and yeah, it's just been a great experience overall. I uh, learned a lot and I improved. Um, when I first gave her the manuscript, I felt like all my characters sounded the same and now they're finally starting to have uh, some of their own distinct voices and the emotional development of the characters is improving as well. So I'm really happy with the direction it's going. That's an amazing celebration. Congratulations on that work. And um, you've become quite an uh, integral member of our community because not only were you in the VIP and then moved into the publishing mastermind, but you also signed up for our writing gym retreat in England, which unfortunately due to coronavirus had to be postponed, but we're still uh, scheduled to go instead of May. We'll be there in September. Um, there must have been something, Hannah, about this community, about this place, about this writing gym that you wanted to keep going, that you wanted to continue to find other opportunities to be here. So uh, what, what, what was it that said, you know, I, I love this, I want to do more? Um, well, I don't really have a lot of writer friends. And so this community has been really um, great for me. And I just thought that, um, being together with a bunch of other like-minded people, writers um, could be really beneficial for me. Not only could I learn some more, but maybe um, we learn stuff from each other and that kind of thing too. Absolutely, that, and that's a really powerful thing too, is that community of people who get it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think if you're like most people who talk to me about this, it's not just other people who are writing because there are all kinds of people out there in the world who are writing but they don't necessarily want the same things that you want or look at things the same way that you look at things. How have you been able to find the right community, if I can say it that way, in the writing gym? 
Um, well, I did before I got on the call with you, I had been taking like some online workshopping classes. Um, and I thought at first I thought those were beneficial, but then there were also like, oh, when they gave the feedback part, there was also a bunch of it that was kind of confusing because one person would like one thing, the other person would hate the other thing. And then um, there was one point that they were telling me, like one person was telling me um, that I, sh I should name my characters different because those aren't right for the genre or something. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. And then I put one like short story through that um, same course over and over and it just wasn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And so once I got to the, um, uh, the writing gym, I got was getting like positive feedback. Um, uh, and um, the people that I was working with are really great. They all had re really good things to say to that helped me overall become a better writer. That's and uh, realize my uh, strengths too, because um, going into it, I didn't really know what I was good at, what I needed improvement on. And so uh, going through the salons, which is where people meet to um, write to a writing prompt, I discovered that I actually have some pretty decent dialogue and I never really uh, noticed that. So that was a good eye-opening thing for me. Wow, so that that's an amazing, takeaway for you and a huge celebration around getting feedback that's made you a better writer, if I'm understanding what you're saying. Wow, that's pretty dang powerful. We'll take that. We'll both pat ourselves on the back. <laughs> yeah. right? so that's pretty amazing. All right. So one of the things that you said to me at some point was that the manuscript that you're working on now, the one that you created in the VIP that we're revising in the publishing mastermind, is the very first one that you were proud of. Tell us about that. Yeah, I had written like back, I think was like my early years of college, I had finished a novel, but I wasn't really proud of it because it, it just didn't feel like a, it was that all good at anything. Um, but this one that I finished, I, and I felt I was proud of, uh, partly because I was able to finish it within such a short amount of time. And then not only that, but um, going through the revision process has helped me see, oh, I need to work on this thing, but this stuff that I've already written is actually kind of okay, good. And so it helped me see my strengths and my weaknesses, um, just working with writing gym and with you in general, so. Why do you think it's important for writers to see their strengths and weaknesses? Um, well, if you see your weaknesses, then you know what you need to improve on. And then strengths, it's good because for me to know my strengths, it's kind of uh, increases my confidence a little as well. Um, so yeah, I think those are both important for everyone. That's, that's a really good reflection on that. And I would imagine that that experience of having clarity around strengths and weaknesses is different from say your study in college or some of those workshops that you've done in the past. Because they'll tell you, uh, one person will tell you, oh, you did this really well. And the other person will absolutely just say that's the opposite thing, which I guess like once you're a published author, that's going to be the same kind of thing anyway. But um, like when you're doing the actual process, it's kind of helpful to know, uh, have a bunch of people say, oh, they all like this. Oh, um, and then working with you, uh, this could be a little tweaked here. Right. Right, really, really powerful. So, you know, I bet there are people watching over in Write to Publish or, you know, over on YouTube uh, on the replay and they think, well, this writing gym thing, like why would that be right for me? So how would you answer that question for them? Um, well, if you've wanted to, if you're interested in becoming a published author, this is definitely the right track because Annalisa also talks with like, um, publishers and agents that she knows and editors. Um, uh, once you've finished your uh, novel with her, um, so she can kind of get you a early start, I guess, like past the slush pile. Um, and then also, it's also been a great experience because not only do you improve as a writer, you also improve with like the community um, and you work together and help improve each other. It's um, and learn from each other. It's really great. 
That's wonderful. Well, thank you for that, Hannah. And yeah. so much to celebrate in your progress and, you know, how you've changed as a writer just in the short time that I've known you, how your manuscript has changed. Uh, you know, you mentioned characterization. Uh, you know, I, I, I feel like these characters became three-dimensional before your eyes at a certain point. And that's been amazing to watch. You're doing great, great work. And we are so, so glad to have you in the writing gym. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. All right. <laughs> and we'll say it together. Until next time, happy writing. <laughs>